Tom. South Korea against Portugal. Portugal had taken the lead early. South Korea came back. And then they kind of were gently pootling along without really threatening. Is that fair? But were they to score another goal and take the lead, it would suddenly be them into second place on goal difference. Yeah, I mean, the game felt like it had petered out. As you say, I mean, Portugal, who'd already qualified, Fernando Santos made six changes. One of the players he brought in, Ricardo Horta, scores their opener uh, in the fifth minute. Um, South Korea equalised through Kim Jong-won. Um, ball flicks off Cristiano Ronaldo. Um, so a few days having after having tried to claim a touch that he didn't actually have. Here's perhaps another touch that he did actually have that you might want to uh, to disavow. Um, and South Korea equalise. Uh, and the game was kind of petering out. And, you know, Portugal seemed to be taking the sting out of things. And then all of a sudden, um, South Korea break from a corner, I think so it was. So this is the 91st yeah. minute. Mm. Um, and as things stand at this point, when Son Hung min takes up possession of the ball, Uruguay going through and South Korea are heading home. And Song Hoon-min, who'd had quite a quiet game, a couple of half chances, drives all the way to the edge of um, the Portuguese penalty area, brilliantly waits for Huang Hee Chan to make the run into the box. And then, again, brilliantly threads a nutmeg pass through between the legs of the nearest defender into Huang Hee Chan's stride. And he slots it home. And South Korea are winning and they're going through. Uruguay going out and Luis Suarez is crying on the bench. I, I actually timed it. I think he ran for 13 seconds, most of that time with the ball. And I think it's one of those moments for him. His life must have passed all in front of him because you can imagine he's looking at the pitch that's virtually empty and he has that ball. He must have no energy left at all. And this is probably the run of his life. And I think this is how I would view it from now on because this was the moment for him to put his nation through against all the odds. And the way he went, 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 and he stopped at the right time because defenders ran past him. And to slip that ball so beautifully, I think that possibly is the highlight of Son's career. Super human, perhaps we should call him. But I mean, and after the game, yeah. I mean, he, he cried on yeah, the pitch. He, he, he cried. He, he took off his his, his face yeah. mask, and and yeah. you you reminded of of what a serious injury mm. he he suffered in that game against Marseille, and 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 how touch and go his chances of even playing in the World Cup were for a while and, and he's had a bit of an iffy start to the season with Tottenham you know hadn't scored until that hat-trick he got against Leicester which feels like it happened about three years ago now and you know hasn't really been uh, in top form his participation in the tournament was in doubt hasn't necessarily shone in the group phase but cometh the hour cometh the man Hello there. If you've enjoyed this video, why not subscribe to this channel? And if you'd like more Totally Football Show content, then just search for us on Apple, Spotify or wherever you get your podcasts. Not an Athletic subscriber yet? Then just head to theathletic.com slash totally to find out our latest entry offer.